The transformation is nothing short of remarkable. In just over a decade, Rwanda has risen out of the turmoil of genocide to become one of Africa's most ambitious nations. The country's development plan revolves around the six pillars of its Vision 2020, with ICT playing a pivotal cross-cutting role. ICT is an enabling tool. It supports our vision in, in different sectors. Without technology, economic development will be very difficult. It can't be looked at as, as luxury. When Rwanda embarked on adopting ICT, we actually even had problems with our development partners because the questions were, you guys, uh, you are just too ambitious. Do you really need uh, computers and internet out there or you need sufficient drinking water, you need good shelter, you need sufficient food? And they said, well, it's not exclusive of the other. We need all of them because uh, if we had to wait for everybody, every household in Rwanda to have good drinking water and sufficient food and good shelter, we shall wait forever. The Vision uh, 2020 uh, aims at moving Rwanda from a predominantly agricultural economy to a knowledge-based economy by the year 2020. Uh, the government did realize that in order to attain the vision, there was a need to accompany it with uh, national ICT plans. NICI in full, it stands for National Information Communication Infrastructure. It is a national ICT policy and plan uh, that was uh, uh, first adopted by cabinet in the year 2001. The World Bank's Rwanda project, as part of phase two of the NICI plan, is committed to helping the government of Rwanda mainstream good governance practices as a minimal condition to harmonious development of other pillars. The Rwanda project, among many other things, is looking at having coming out with efficient government. We are looking at finance management systems. The efficiency has come in, transparency, accountability, all these have been enhanced with the utilization of ICT and we have benefited greatly from that. Apart from raising the general welfare of the population, improvements in education and health services are needed to build a productive and efficient workforce. This is essential for Rwanda to become a dynamic knowledge-based economy. My name is Nambara Vicent. Joining ICT and Computers, it was a, a program of uh, the Demobilization Commission that was helping ex-soldiers uh, going for formal education. We have hope in it and we're expecting much in it because we know outside here in Rwanda, IT is a, a sector that is growing very rapidly. So we expect to get job. Our Vision 2020 basically builds on uh, the quality of our human resources and therefore ICT fits very well into that type of thinking. TrackNet is one example of how Rwanda's Ministry of Health is using real-time mobile phone technology to collect, store, retrieve and disseminate critical information related to HIV-AIDS care and treatment nationwide. C'est une technologie simple qui a beaucoup changé la manière de gérer le programme de VIH sida au Rwanda. Il y a les trois applications. Premièrement, c'est les indicateurs de programme. Deuxièmement, c'est l'enregistrement des patients. Et trois, c'est la gestion des consommables. Au niveau de prise de décision, c'est très important parce qu'on a toutes les données. On a la gestion des médicaments. Avec toutes ces données, on peut orienter les, les décisions qu'on va prendre. In addition to good governance and human resource development, the government of Rwanda has emphasized the importance of the private sector in being the engine of economic growth. ICT is one of the priority sectors that we promote. The government took a deliberate state to lift import duty on all ICT-related uh, equipment. So we've also set up an, an ICT technopark. We have a mobile phone assembly company from China, first mobile phone assembly plant in Rwanda. We call it technology. We the 
原材料从中国过来，然后在罗旺达这边组装。我们来罗旺达这边可能是第一家做 IT 的，从中国过来的。现在非洲这边也是一个很大的一个市场吧，有像这边有九百万人口，那么如果加上周边的国家的话。这个也是一个庞大的一个市场。就是我们来这边之前，就是先去了那个迪拜，过后我们就考察那个肯尼亚，然后我们就去了那个刚果、乌干达。政府对投资的是那个政策的比较宽松，就是拿我现在住在这个公司的那个场地来说吧，都是基本上可以说是相当是免费的，嗯，就是给些管理费用、水电费用。基本上这边来找工作人很多，我们。需求量是三十个人，来应聘的有四五百人，大部分都是在高中学历以上。The development of infrastructure is a crucial factor for lowering the cost of doing business in Rwanda. This will attract investment and promote regional and international economic integration. We have positioned ourselves as a hub in the region, and that way you can't achieve that without having the necessary basics. And infrastructure is one of the key requirements. What we are doing is facilitating easier communication and cheaper communication. By providing improved infrastructure, we are improving the lives of our people. ICT breaks the barriers related with being landlocked. And ICT in this particular case links us very easily and integrates us in the global economy more than anything else could have done. The government of Rwanda has identified low productivity and inefficient marketing as challenges to developing the agricultural sector. Today we have about 20 telecenters in the country. Telecenters are really needed in rural area to provide information needed for rural development. Let's take an example of farmers. They need information on how to grow the plants, they need to, to know how to, to harvest, they need to know where the, the market is and how they can sell their products. Rwanda's motivation, Rwanda's transformation, uh, I think is a result of the determination that what happened in Rwanda should never happen again. We want to be able to drive our destiny in terms of economy, in terms of politics, in terms of our social welfare. Rwanda has made remarkable progress since 1994 to date. And uh, the image out there, particularly in the international arena, is still not reflective of the true picture that Rwanda has undertaken. And that's still a burden. If you want to do business in a country that is upcoming today, is the time to do that. And Rwanda is the place to do that. We want to see Rwanda in 2020 as a middle-income country. We want to see Rwanda peaceful, prosperous, and part of uh, the global economy, a country that is modern, part of global solutions, and not part of global problems. And that's really where we are headed to, and we are very confident about achieving that. Thank you.